Hey guys, DM Cubing, and today we're going to make a magnetic Moyu Mofang Joshi MF3RS speed cube. Hey guys, I've had a lot of requests for making a magnetic MF3RS tutorial, so here it is. This is a very good performing budget cube. Lucas Eder called it one of the best values on the market for its performance. Um, I think it does magnets very well. There's plenty of room to put magnets. Uh, it's an easy modification, and I think the results are, are very well worth the effort. If you're new to magnetic cubes and you don't want to put you know money into a Volk right now or a GAN or a Waylong GTS, this is probably a good introduction to magnetic cubes. The cube sells for about $5 on the cubicle. Uh, like I said, it does perform well. It's made very precisely. I've, I've had this cube apart. Uh, really amazed at how tight fitting all the pieces are. So here's my tutorial. I'm making a magnetic MF3 RS. Here are the things that you'll need for this project. Of course, you'll need the cube, an MF3 RS. You'll need 48 magnets. Here I'm using grade N48, 4 millimeter by 2 millimeter neodymium magnets. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver to disassemble the cube. You'll need your favorite adhesive. I'm using Gorilla Brand Super Glue. You'll need something to apply that glue with, like a wooden stick or here a toothpick with the uh, end clipped off of it. You might need a plastic razor blade to help get in between the cubey piece thirds when you're disassembling those parts. And then if you get glue on one of the inside tabs of those corner pieces, you may need a sharp knife to scrape the dried glue off of. The first thing we'll do is disassemble the cube. Here I'm showing the position of the magnets, both in the edge and corner piece. We'll be starting with the edge piece first, but I'm showing both here so you get an idea of what we're, what, how our project is going to work. We'll be gluing in the edge piece magnet first using the outside helper magnet to hold it into position. To disassemble the edge piece, it's fairly easy. We just pull on each half here, and it reveals the base part of the torpedo. And this just slides right out, this white plastic part. And it's got a slot that it goes into. This particular cube measured at 0 .043 inches, so it's about a medium thickness. It's not too thick, and it's not too thin. The arrow here marks where we will be placing the magnet. To glue the magnet, we put a fairly nice sized drop of glue on our stick and we dab that right where I had the arrow pointing to. Here's my stack of magnets, my stick of magnets. You notice that I have a little marker on the end of it because I will be removing the magnets individually one at a time from the opposite end. So I'll pull a magnet off of this. I'll place the stick on the outside of the QB piece and then I'll pull it down and that kind of tucks the magnet into its position there. Now to remove the magnet, the stick of magnets, it takes considerable force. They're pretty strong. And then after we do that, we'll stick another drop of glue. And then we repeat this until all 24 edge pieces have been glued this way. So to recap, we put a nice drop of glue on the inside interior part of the QB wall. We place a magnet inside that while we're holding the stack of magnets on the outside of the QB piece wall. Then we kind of tuck that down into its corner. We remove the stack of magnets, leaving one helper magnet on the outside to hold the inside magnet. And then we add an additional drop of glue to the interior magnet there. And we do this 24 times. And at this part, you just let everything set because it's going to take a while for the glue to dry. Next, while the edge piece magnets are drying, we'll disassemble the corner pieces. This will save time and it's very likely by the time that we're finished with the corner pieces, the edge piece magnets will be dry enough to handle. Disassembling the corner piece is fairly straightforward. You may need a plastic razor blade to get into the QB piece thirds and then they pull straight out from the center of the post. The post has a vertical tab that the QB piece thirds hang on to and they themselves hang on to each other with a horizontal tab. And you just pull them separately apart from the center post. Before we glue the corner piece magnet, I should caution you about getting glue on the tab nearest the placement of the corner piece magnet. If you do get glue here, either wipe it off as soon as you can 
or wait until everything's dry and you may have to use a knife to scrape this off. Any remaining glue left here will keep the QB pieces from fitting together properly. It's a very tight fit. We glue the corner piece magnet by putting a drop of glue on the interior wall of the corner third piece and aligning it with the edge piece. We drop the helper magnet and usually it falls right into place as we align the edges of these two parts. As you can see this one's slightly off so we push it until it's aligned with the other magnet and then we put an additional drop of glue on top of this. We do this for the remaining third parts of the corners until the entire cube is finished. We match them up like this, place them on a flat surface to dry, and usually I let them sit overnight until they're completely dry. Okay, here's a great way to check for polarity. As long as your magnets have been glued correctly, your cube should be able to hold its cube-like shape without a core. This is a good test to check before you assemble the cube with its core. Once you've confirmed this, then it's a good idea to just go ahead and assemble your cube and lubricate it to your liking. I really think this cube turned out nicely. For a budget cube, it's really a great performer, and I think, like I said before, it's a great entry-level magnetic cube. If you're just getting into magnetic cubes, buy this cube. It's a great way to get into this. And my good friend Eccentric Cuber is giving two of these cubes away. He's having a giveaway. It ends February 11th, 2017. So be sure to check out his channel. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment there on his giveaway. I will leave a link in the description. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just please leave them in the, the uh, comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Happy cubing. Bye.